aging became a very popular topic to study in the last decades. Why is that? The answer to that is, in a sense, very simple. There is a steep increase in lifespan in humans since the beginning of the 20th century. We have made dramatic progress in life expectancy, and what is more important, there are no indication that we have reached the limits of our lifespan. Around 100 years ago, the main contribution to an increase in lifespan was a much better survival at young ages. This was mainly achieved by better combat with infection diseases, the discovery of antibiotics, better pregnancy care, and improvement in overall hygiene. In the last decade, though, an increase in lifespan is mainly due to a better survival of the elderly. Worldwide, life expectancy at 60 years of age increased for men from 60.6 years in 1992 to 18.5 years in 2012. For women, this increased from 90.7 years in 1990 to 20.5 years in 2012. This may sound not much to you, but it really is. Never before in human history have so many elderly people lived on our planet. Yet the fraction of elderly in the population is still increasing. According to the United Nations Population Division, one in five persons globally will be older than 65 by the year 2035. Although the general lifespan is steadily increasing, it's obvious that the lifespan of individuals differ considerably. Some may live for 50, 60 years, while others make it till 100 years and older. We refer to the later group as centenarians. The official record of the longest confirmed human lifespan belonged to a French woman, Ms. Jean-Louise Calmont. She died in August 1997 at the age of almost 123 years. A very relevant question we immediately may ask is, why she? Why do some live till 60, while she managed to live that long? She was from a long-lived family, something noticeable with other centenarians as well. Long living usually runs in families. The logical question to ask is then, what are the biological factors that define a long living or longevity? So, we have good reasons to start aging, a steadily increase in human lifespan, and a growing number of centenarians whose lifespan appear not to have reached limits. And we have a name. We don't only want to live longer, but also live healthier. Biological aging is a major risk factor for many diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, dementia, strokes, type 2 diabetes, and many, many more. In order to achieve healthy aging for society as a whole, we need to better understand the fundamental mechanisms which lead to aging. This is where research comes in.